We are continuing our discussion on the NAR settlement and the outcomes of it. Previously, Dawn mentioned that she anticipates buyer having to write in their offers that sellers will pay buyer's commission and special provisions, at least until the broker lawyer committee can finalize revisions to our contract. An update to that, we learned that the Texas Realtors is working on an addendum to the contract to use to address payment of commission by seller. It is currently in draft form, but it will mention broker's fees both on the listing side and other broker's fees. Right now, it anticipates stating that the listing broker's fee is paid by the seller based on a separate written agreement. The other broker's fees portion, which will be a certain dollar amount or percentage of the sales price, will have an option to be paid by the listing broker or by the seller. This form will be approved for your use when it is final, and it will also cover the NAR settlement requirement that there must be a disclosure that says broker fees are not set by law and are fully negotiable. As Don mentioned in the last tip, more likely than not, if the offered price is right, sellers should be willing to pay the buyer's agent's commission. Again, it is important to remember under the NAR settlement, the seller cannot pay more than what is negotiated in your buyer rep agreement. So you need to establish what commission you are willing to take on that home and you need to have your standards set before your first meeting with your buyer. It is a business decision on how much you think your job for that particular buyer is worth. One of the things we haven't mentioned in our other podcasts is an option for having a tiered set of services. What will you do for 1%, 2%, and 3%? For example, for only 1%, maybe you won't answer your phone after 6 p.m. At 3%, you are willing to show homes on both Saturdays and Sundays. These are just examples of things that you may want to think about when setting your levels of service, but maybe you're worth even more than 3%, 4%, 5%. There have been even some suggestion that an agent set tiers in terms of gold, silver, and bronze service levels. What are you willing to do for what the buyer is willing to pay you? Yes, you have a fiduciary duty to your client, but that doesn't mean you work for free. You can still honor your fiduciary duty by laying out tiered levels of service. We hope that these are helpful ideas to get your proce processes going on the upcoming changes. If you have any ideas for our tip of the week, please email tipoftheweek at allegiancetitle.com. And if you find these podcasts of value, our real job is closing transactions. Please let us close your next one.